Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York, and today we're back in Jackson, New Jersey. We're going to check out Hurricane Harbor. Specifically, we'll be checking out the Lazy River here at Hurricane Harbor. I'll be in the Lazy River myself, and we'll have to do a camera change every once in a while because of the water. So you might see a change in video quality every now and then, but it's going to be a good video. I think you're going to enjoy it nonetheless. It's a Monday afternoon here in Jackson, New Jersey, about 90, 95 degrees. It's kind of hot out, and I'm looking really looking forward to this Lazy River ride. It's going to be nice, refreshing, and relaxing. So come on, put on your swimming suit, follow me, let's take a dip in the Lazy River, or as I call it here at Hurricane Carver, Take It Easy Creek. Coming up to this bridge here, you can uh, actually see the Lazy River. It's running underneath us on both sides. Lazy River here is quite long. It's one of the longest Lazy Rivers I've ever seen. Uh, it completely encompasses the park. So the middle of the park, the direction we're heading, is actually an island. Apparently, Hurricane Harbor has a very strict no GoPro camera uh, policy. So I couldn't bring my GoPro here, which is really the ideal camera for a water park. So I decided I was going to use my telephone for a camera while I was in the water, and I wanted to stop here at uh, Island Traders to pick up one of those Ziploc waterproof bags that you can, or pouches that you can put your phone in uh, to keep it nice and safe and dry. Don't forget to look for the Joker who shows up on all my Six Flag videos, including this one. Sometimes he's easy to spot, other times he can be quite elusive. Be the first to spot him, leave a comment below with the timestamp that you spotted him, and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. So now we've basically come across the island. We're going back to the mainland, if you will. And right to the uh, left hand side here is the entrance to the Lazy River. The Lazy River actually has four or five entrances all around it. But um, right now, because of COVID, they're allowing everyone in and out of the Lazy River from one location only right here. Does that make sense? I'm really not sure. I mean, if you can go in and out from four or five different areas and there's no line, then maybe that's better than everyone standing on line for half an hour to 45 minutes on top of each other. I don't know what the trade-off is here. As I said earlier, it's about 90, 95 degrees. It's quite warm today and humid, I might add. Um, and the water, I'm sure, is warm, but when you get in at that temperature outside, uh, it seems pretty cold, but once you're in, it's really refreshing. The uh, phone in a pouch thing seems to be going quite well. One of those things where you're filming and you don't know how it's going to turn out until you get home and start editing, so this could all be a waste, but I'm actually quite happy with the video quality. Ah, this is relaxing. I can actually feel my blood pressure just dropping. Let's put on some lazy river music and just enjoy the ride for a moment.
And after about half an hour on the lazy river, my phone started going crazy and it wouldn't be a photo shoot without some technical difficulties. I didn't give it much thought, but apparently when you put a phone and seal it up in a plastic bag and put it in direct sunlight for at least a half an hour, it starts to get a little hot. I took the phone out of the patch and it immediately said, Hey, Jeff from New York, no more pictures today. I'm burning up in here. And that, my New Yorkers, was pretty much the end of the Lazy River shoot, as well as the shoot for the day. By the way, here we are at the wave pool at Hurricane Harbor. And as you can see, video quality was pretty much becoming horrendous, so I decided to call it a day. Coming up next, here on the New York Channel, we're going to stop by the Shops at Crystals here on the Las Vegas Strip. A shopping mall known for not only shopping, but dining and nightlife as well. The Shops at Crystals is a uh, very high-end mall. It's located right next to Aria. As a matter of fact, the Aria Hotel and Casino is connected to the Shops at Crystals. And the stores here cater to the extremely wealthy or the people who come to Las Vegas and become extremely lucky. A lot of these stores, as a matter of fact, are shop by appointment only. There's a lot of cool art here as well as water features, so it's a nice place, even if you can't afford to shop here, to stop in and do some window shopping and some art appreciation and just walk around and cool off if it's a hot day out there on the Strip. And like I said, that's coming up next here on the New York Channel, so make sure you catch it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city. And while I have you here, don't forget to click on that community tab here on the New York channel. Lots of things to see and do on that community channel, including photos and comments left by myself or by uh, fellow New Yorkers. And uh, I'm starting to add some fun and games on there as well, so check it out.